freshwater generator is used to convert fresh water from seawater on ships. The produced fresh water is mainly used for drinking purpose, for boiler water system and for other fresh water consumptions. Let's understand the operating procedure of a shell and tube type fresh water generator starting with different parts of the system. The first component of the fresh water generator is a fresh water pump which is used to supply the generated fresh water to ship's fresh water tanks by taking the suction from the generator. The normal rated capacity varies from 3 to 5 meter cube per hour which depends mainly on the supply head. The next component is the ejector pump which supplies pressurized water to the eductor for creating vacuum. It also supplies cooling water to condenser. Rated capacity varies from 25 to 30 meter cube per hour and pressure 3 to 6 bar. Air and brine eductor. It is used to remove the accumulated brine from the generator and to create the necessary vacuum. Evaporator. It is used to boil off the seawater at lower temperature with the help of vacuum created inside the freshwater generator shell. Condenser. To condense the freshwater vapors and collect them in liquid form for further use. The other components of the freshwater generator are main engine jacket water line with a bypass valve, relief valve, vacuum gauge, thermometer, and a vent cork, which must be shut before operating the freshwater generator. Now let's understand the operating procedure of this equipment. Open ejector pump line discharge and suction valves. Open the feed water valve to freshwater generator evaporate. Start the ejector pump. Water will pass through the condenser and air brine eductor. Ejector pump also supplies feed water to the evaporator which is then converted into fresh water. The eductor will also create necessary vacuum in the fresh water generator. Open the jacket water discharge valve and then the inlet valve to the condenser. Simultaneously shut the jacket water bypass valve for the generator slowly. Keep checking the main jacket water pressure. Water vapor will be created by heating off the jacket water temperature as at low pressure water boils at lower than the normal boiling temperature. The generated water vapor will pass through the demister which will remove the carried salt and only allows water vapor to pass through. The shell temperature will increase and there will be a slight drop in the vacuum. This indicates evaporation has started. The vapor will get cooled down by seawater in the condenser and will get collected as fresh water. The salt will get collected at the bottom in the form of brine. The eductor will continuously discharge the brine to overboard. Now open the freshwater distillate pump discharge valve and bypass valve of salinometer to initially check the salt content. Keep shut the discharge valve going to freshwater tank. Start the freshwater distillate pump. Check the salt content by tasting the water. Once the salt content decreases, switch on the salinometer and keep the alarm in mute condition. Shut the bypass valve and activate the alarm once the salinometer reading goes below the alarm limit. Open the freshwater tank filling valve. Now the generated freshwater will get collected in the desired freshwater tank. 